Okay, guys and girls, this is going to be a short video to show you how to find the volume of an irregularly shaped object by using water displacement. Um, first things first, safety. You will not need goggles in this lab because you will not be working with glass. Now, I realize I have glass here, but you will not. Yours will be plastic. The graduated cylinder, which is this tall thing right here, it is also plastic, and all of your items are plastic. The red stuff inside the beaker is just water dyed red so that it's easier for you to see. So no real safety precautions, just make sure if you spill anything, you clean it up. So before we get started, you need to know how to read a graduated cylinder. And you're gonna do this in a couple steps. So first of all, what we need to do is add water to our graduated cylinder. So you can take your water and carefully pour, but remember you wanna to commit to pouring, and we want to get to about, let's say, 100 milliliters. Okay, let's see if you guys can see this here. Here's my 100 milliliter mark, so I'm a little bit shy. Give me a second, we'll put in a little bit more. Now yours doesn't have to be perfect, you just need to know where you start. So we also need to know how to read a graduated cylinder. If you look carefully, the water kind of dips down. This is called a meniscus. And we read a graduated cylinder from the bottom of the meniscus, which is always gonna be in the middle. So if we look right here, we're past the 100 line, and then it goes by twos. So we're at um, 102 milliliters. That's fine, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. We just wanna be close to 100. So our starting volume of water is going to be 102. Now you're gonna take your first object. I'm gonna start with this metal ball and you're going to gently drop it into the water. Okay, now we wanna take our final reading. So we were here at 102. If we look at the bottom of the meniscus at eye level, it is right at the next line up and it goes by twos. So that would be 104 milliliters. That means that the volume of my metal ball is two milliliters because we started with 102, we ended with 104. 104 milliliters minus 102 milliliters gives us two milliliters for the volume of the ball. Now getting your object out can be a little bit tricky. So what I want you to do, and you'll be better at this because you'll have two hands, is to pour back into the beaker the extra water. Remember it's just water, so it doesn't matter if it gets on your hands, but try not to spill it all over the table. And then it should be very easy for you to get your object out without spilling it everywhere. And then you can just place it back on the table and then try your next object. Okay, so you wanna do every time, remember you're doing the final volume of water minus the initial volume of water. If you have questions or concerns, let me know. And we use this to find the volume of irregular objects that do not float by water displacement. Have fun.